So on your assignment document for level four, uh, we went to the shoe survey. We followed the directions to create the chart. And so here you have a place to paste your screenshot of one of your charts. So we're gonna go to the next slide and here's the questions to answer. What hotspots did you find? Are there any shoes that are easy to predict or were shoes that were difficult? Like you weren't really sure which questions would positively give you that kind of shoe. How do you think it'd be helpful and well, how would you improve? So take some time, write down some really well thought out answers to these questions, and then we'll go on to our last activity. So just to recap, what hotspots did you find in the data? And how do you think this will be helpful for a model to make shoe recommendations? Let's consider those questions as we go to our last activity. First, let's review some key vocabulary. Remember that a feature is an input that the model uses to make decisions, and the label is the output you are trying to decide or predict with a model. Here's a graphic that kind of illustrates the feature and the label. In this data, each of the questions are the features which are being used to predict what type of shoe to recommend, which is the label. Now this is a description of the app that you're going to run for the last activity. This is the ultimate shoe recommender. And you can see that it's gonna have ask five questions, but look at the method. This is a points added method. This model uses a series of questions to help you decide your shoes. Based on your answers, different shoes earn a certain amount of points towards their score. At the end of the app, the shoe with the highest points is recommended. When you run the app, you're gonna be able to see it in the regular mode. You're also gonna be able to click where you can see the data. You can see the points being added to the different types of shoes. So let's go to our code.org. We're gonna click on the next, which is the last level, level five, the ultimate shoe recommender. And you wanna run this several times, just like you have the others, to see what kinds of patterns you can detect. And then we're gonna take a look at the points as well. So I'm gonna click run and just click on recommend shoes. So here's the questions, like where we spend your time, let's say outside in the city, what is the weather? Let's say that it's sunny. How do you feel about socks? Yes. And what is your day? Well, it's gonna be hard work. Do you notice, do you care about people noticing your shoes? No. So they want, I should wear work boots. I can make another recommendation. This time I'm gonna click on show model and I can see when I'm doing the recommendations that I'm gonna get points. So down here are the six different types of shoes. And right now they all start off with zero points. I'm gonna select in bed. And hmm, so only some of the shoes even got points for that answer. And let's say that it's rainy. You can see how the points are changing. I'm gonna say no socks and sandals got a lot of points with the no socks and Crocs got a lot of points with the no socks. I'm gonna be lazy and no. So the one that had the highest points was sandals and you can see Crocs wasn't that far off. Now, as you're working at this level, uh, once you've gotten some recommendations, I would like you to take a screenshot of one of your recommendations. Just, just pick one of them, come to your assignment document and you're gonna to go to the next to last slide and there's a place for you to paste the screenshot. So it just shows that you've been working on this and running the app. Take some time, you can either choose to keep looking at the points or just doing the model itself. And then we're gonna meet back at the assignment document to answer our questions. One of the most effective ways to make recommendations involves looking at data from our users, but analyzing that data took some time, even for a short, short survey like this. Imagine if there were 20 questions instead of three, or if you were recommending a whole outfit instead of just shoes. In the next lesson, we'll see how a computer can make this process easier and how it can try to learn from data to make decisions. So let's go to our wrap up. Here's a couple of questions for you to consider. If you could add another question to the shoe survey, what question would you ask? So think about how you make your shoe decision. And why do you think that question would be helpful in deciding a shoe? We're gonna revisit our question of the day. What strategies do computer models use to make decisions? Let's go to your assignment document and you should be ready to answer these questions.